What's up? Welcome into your daily Buckeye Blitz for a Thursday, the thirstiest of thirsty Thursdays, November 3rd, 2022. I'm your host, Joe from the Buckeye Cast. How's everybody doing today? Start your day off right. Let's talk some Buckeye stuff. Um, hey, I wanted to mention if you are interested in a Beat Michigan shirt, Check out the buckeyecast.com. Get those ordered. It's only a few weeks away. You got to leave a, a couple of days for shipping. So uh, get to the buckeyecast.com. Look for anything that says Beat Michigan and uh, I don't know, buy, buy a bunch of shirts for everybody. I don't know. Got a bunch of different styles to choose from colors, sizes, everything you need. So check it out. Um, right now, I am in the middle of getting a big, well, relatively big uh, interview for the show on tonight, Thursday night. So I'm going to keep, keep you guys posted. If something happens with this interview, this is real. This is not a joke. This is not my garbage man or something like that. I'm working on the chairman of the peach bowl bowl game, <laughs> the peach bowl. I might be have I might have him on YouTube Live Thursday night at 8 p.m. I will keep you posted, like I said. So keep locked in here. Follow me on Twitter, um, YouTube, whatever, and uh, I will let you know if that's actually happening. It's close. It's close. I just want to warn you. So Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Possibly the Peach Bowl. That's the first round of the playoffs. They're getting one of the semifinal games uh, for the CFP. So. With, that kind of leads into what we're going to talk about today is the CFP rankings came out. So I'll let you know if that actually happens. Uh, so right, let's talk CFP. Here are the rankings. I will share this with you so you can see what we're talking about. Okay, here we are. I'm not going to talk about the top 25. I'm just going to talk about the about, about the top six, maybe. So one is Tennessee, two, Ohio State, three, Georgia, four, Clemson. Ha ha, laugh. Everybody laugh together. Um, five is Michigan, six is Alabama. Wow. Um, where do we start here? Jesus. All right, keep those in your memory bank. Um, oh, boy. This is, this is ugly. I, all right. I'll, I'll get past Tennessee at one. That's no problem. Um, undefeated beat Bama. I get it. Uh, so obviously the committee's talking about big wins. They're, they're focusing on big ranked wins, right? Uh, Georgia, uh, eight, no, haven't, don't really have a big ranked win that I recall. Did I miss something? So, um, I'll take the Buckeyes have like the largest margin of victory in the country. So we're doing our job with what the schedule is in front of us. I will say Notre Dame was ranked in the top five when we beat them. It's not our fault. Their fucking quarterback went down. You know, we can't, can't blame us for what happened after that game. So anyways, uh, Clemson eight, no, no business being even in the top six. Their, their schedule's worse than Michigan's almost. Trash, ACC sucks. Um, Michigan should be number four, right behind Georgia, in my opinion. Bama should be five. Clemson should be six, seven, eight, ten. I don't give a fuck. Anyway, so let's talk about this. Uh, the, what this committee's thinking. Uh, so they have four new members from last year. Uh, their new chairman... Of course, he's from the South. I, I wouldn't have to tell you that once you hear his name. Uh, NC State Athletic Director, Boo Corrigan. Yeah, his first name's Boo. Ugh, moving on. Uh, he said that Ohio State has a powerful, powerful offense, a very solid defense, impressive win last week over Penn State. Are you sure? You don't seem too impressed because you should – kind of elaborate on that. So he said that at the uh, teleconference after the rankings came out. Um, he said there's a lot of robust conversation going on. <laughs> I love robust conversation. Um, I usually do that with, with a drink in my hand, maybe two. Um, Ohio State has given up 17 points a game and is scoring 44 points in their last seven games. So this guy 
obviously Googled some stats before he came on. Uh, he also said, again, it's a well-balanced team. And as we look at it, it was something that as a group in the collective 13, there's 13 people in this committee, of course, really felt good about Ohio State. But again, felt those two big wins by Tennessee is what ultimately carried the day. All right. Uh, again, we got ranked wins too, top five top 13, whatever Penn State was, depending on the poll you look at. So, all right. So he's got some stats. That seems important. And uh, But the big big wins are the, the biggest factor in, in their ranking system this week. It'll change week to week. Keep that in mind. <laughs> uh, this, is a, this is a flexible system. Um, so Tennessee beat LSU 40-13 in Baton Rouge early in October. I would say LSU is a much different team now. Four weeks later, five weeks later, uh, and the committee sees LSU as the best two-loss team in the country. Whoa, pump the brakes. Uh, they do have two losses. I'm not sure they're the best two-loss team. I don't know how you can say that just because they're in the SEC. That seems to be the only measuring stick here. Um, as you just said, they got beat by Tennessee. Um, Tennessee also beat Baylor. Yeah, we know. Um Another quote here from Mr. Boo. Uh, as we looked at it, we saw the wins by Tennessee over Alabama and LSU, even with Georgia's dominant win over Oregon. It's being much more to put them over the top. So he's compar comparing Oregon, you know, Georgia's land based in Oregon in week one, which I would say Oregon also is a different team. Um, I don't think that in, is indicative of. of the true Oregon team that we see now. Uh, some some words about Michigan from Mr. Boo. Uh, we like Michigan a lot as a committee, more workmanlike, controlling their opponent. But again, I think there's a weaker non-conference schedule that was talked about before, and that was part of the determination. Yeah, again, then doesn't that apply to Clemson too? Because they have a weaker conference. Stop at non-conference. You can include not, the entire schedule. Clemson's schedule is garbage, trash. So going through, let's just let's talk going forward. Uh, so are they what is going to be the main controlling uh determining factor here? How a team controls a game and its opponent, its stats, its most impressive wins. Uh, because Ohio State is unmatched in its in its wins throughout the year and we 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 came back late in uh, mid fourth against Penn State and but we laid it on we scored four straight touchdowns three on offense um so I don't know again this is all a bunch of shit uh, I know it's it's just the first week of this stuff but I wanted to read off these odds before I let you go um right now Vegas odds are Georgia versus Bama on a neutral field. The spread is minus one. Georgia favored by one over Bama on a neutral. Right now, Georgia favored by one and a half versus Ohio State on a neutral field. Georgia favored by four and a half versus Tennessee on a neutral field. And Georgia favored by seven versus Michigan on a neutral field. I don't even know what Clemson would be. It'd have to be almost two touchdowns, at least maybe 10, 10 to 14 points versus Clemson on a neutral. Um, so yeah, the, the margins are pretty slim there in the top two, Bama, Ohio State and Georgia. I, I'm not sure Georgia can beat Alabama, um, but we'll see. Uh, it, to do it, Again, this year, Ooh, that's that's dicey, man. Um, but and Bama's pissed off, you know. Saban has him has him upset and and stuff. So um, that's what I got for you. Let me know what your thoughts are on the CFP. Give me your top four, your top six, whatever. Um, I, I gave mine last Sunday on our show. I, again, I think Ohio State, Georgia, Tennessee, Michigan is my top four. Then Bama, I don't know, it's like six teams I could put at number six, but that's my top five.
anyways, let me know what you guys think. I'll keep you posted on that interview if that's going to happen Thursday night. So I'll uh, I'll schedule a, uh, a live show. So keep it locked in here. Subscribe, like, uh, hit the bell, all that good shit. Have a good one and go Bucks.